This is a four-part video series on Thermocore's K-Core material system. How can devices in aerospace defense, computer, communications, medical test equipment, power electronics, and other industry applications dissipate heat in the least possible space at minimum mass? How does the K-Core material system, generally known as encapsulated annealed pyrolytic graphite, conduct heat up to three times more effectively than copper with the same weight as aluminum. Hello, my name is Mark Montesano, Vice President of Engineering at Thermocore, uh, K-Technology Division. Uh, today I'm going to answer some of the questions on our technology of advanced solid conduction. The material is called K-Core and I'll explain how it has high conductivity up to three times that of copper. The basic material is a composite using a very highly conductive graphite material called annealed pyrolytic graphite. The annealed pyrolytic graphite has a very high in-plane thermal conductivity. The conductivity of the graphite is about 1700 WMK, which is about four times that of copper. Very, very highly conductive in the plane. The annealed pyrolytic graphite has poor mechanical properties. So to satisfy the needs of the airspace and the packaging requirements, we wrap a structural shell around it to provide the integrity. So the combination of the structural shell with the highly conductive graphite insert results in a composite with very, very high conductance. In this example, we have an aluminum shell wrapping a graphite, anneal pyrolytic graphite core. Some of the other features of this material are uh, applications where we put solid metal regions to provide through the thickness conductance. Um, some of the more complex designs are machined elements which are laminated in a thicker format and machined back. So any kind of aluminum part that is typically used now can be replaced with a K-core type part with a much improved thermal conductance. And this particular part has a middle plane that's about 100 mils thick, and it, it, it contains a, an annealed pyrolytic graphite insert that's about 60 mils thick. So a good volume fraction of the, of the inner plane of this component is, is the annealed pyrolytic graphite to provide that highly conductive path. In addition, because the graphite is completely hermetically sealed within these components, they're processed similarly to solid metal parts. So typical machining tolerances and machining operations, even finishing and plating operations are all done on this material. So what we have here is a little detail showing a typical part. This is an aerospace power supply where there are heat generating devices in the middle of the part. The heat is drawn out to the cart edge where it's cooled. Some of the details of that design, you could see a cross-sectional view showing the thin aluminum skins wrapped around the highly conductive graphite insert. Now in terms of formats and what applications are used with this material, a very popular use of the material is a thermal core where this gets put into a chassis and is edge cooled and heat generating devices are placed on top and bottom. There are other parts where the material is used as a heat exchanger where a, a high power device is placed on a plate and the, the plate, the K-core plate is used to lower the thermal density, distribute that energy over a larger area. That makes the, the heat removal surface, the convecting fins, more efficient by distributing that energy. Uh, the material is also built for larger format uh, applications such as satellite um, radiators that are meters by meters in size and large heat spreaders for satellites that are, again, in meter size uh, rating. And those are very, very efficient, lightweight thermal management devices, which are critical for space applications because weight is at such a premium. Another embodiment of the material is a thermal strap. The, the annealed pyrolytic graphite, when it's machined thin, is flexible. What we do there is we'll wrap a thin skin around that, either a capton or a metal foil and that'll give you a flexible, uh, compliant, highly conductive heat transfer device. And that's used for part isolation, for part compliance, and a, a number of other things. 
this chart just shows some examples of the different applications. Up in the top left, that's a satellite chassis where heat from a device is clamped into it and that gold-plated component provides a highly conductive thermal path down to a coal plate. We have a telescope bracket up in the middle which is used on a space program. Over here, this is an um, actual uh, formed K-core bracket that's actually on the Mars rover right now. It provides highly conductive path to cool an X-ray device. Then we have formed metal brackets for satellites. Uh, this, this middle section is an 18 by 20 inch cryocooler bracket that provides a thermal path from cryocoolers down to a cooling device. And then we have the cores. We have smaller devices that have uh, low CTE for power fats or packaging of individual dye. And then we have other composite materials that we wrap around the graphite, you know, such as carbon fiber composites for additional, mostly space and battery applications and radiator applications. So there's a whole family of parts. Uh, it's very flexible what can be done with this material. And this just gives a, a, a little bit of an overview of what's possible. Just to summarize this introduction, the K-Core material system, highly conductive, up to three times the conductivity of copper. The actual conductance of these material is a function of the thickness fraction of the graphite within these composites. These parts are qualified and space qualified. They've been flying for years now in space and on many military and airborne terrestrial applications. There's a wide variety of parts that are possible, heat spreaders, thermal cores, radiator panels, thermal straps. And in addition, the company, we maintain a strong R&D development to keep pushing for new applications for this material. This concludes our first video of the K-Core series. For more information, please contact us at info at thermocore.com. The next video, which can be found in our design center on Thermocore's website, will cover K-Core benefits, geometries, and performance.